Eu mă stau în Mai zis, 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 mai to my channel i'm Ejilechi. if it's the first time you're seeing this beautiful face please don't make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button like subscribe turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever i drop a video and if it's not hi my love oh, welcome as you can already see today we have a guest on our channel so hi can you hi. introduce yourself hello lovelies hello Ejilechi's family My name is Hetty Carol. Carol, you know, um, a finally, that finally is very important. <laughs> I'm a finally accounting student. Aside that, I'm a makeup artist mm. and I make pretty dresses as well. And I'm so happy to be here. Oh my God, we are really very excited to have you on our channel. Period. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, my sister has come on my channel to put me on the first seat because I said I wanted to be late more with my audience i wanted to get a bit more personal and it's been a while i did like a q and a session or is this this is like the first q and a session of yes, my channel today the very first yes of its kind yes yeah, very first of its kind so she's gonna be asking me some questions and i'm going to be giving my answers my honest answers to this question on my channel today i hope the seat is not really very hot it's not at all I mean, I've been waiting for this opportunity. You don't have a time like this twice, guys. Wait, you get to ask your sister questions, and she has to give you her honest reply. So yes, I'm ready. I hope you're ready as well. Okay, so yeah. we are opening up this question and answer session on a very light, please, please, light thing. Yes, please be gentle with me, please. Okay, what's your favorite memory of us? That's the first question. Okay, um, we have a lot of memories together, but if I were to pick, I would say one very funny memory that I would never forget was one time, um, I think I was still in school and we went to see a movie and I was gonna put you onto a very nice um, hot dog that we, I had. I was like, I needed to try this hot dog. So before we got into the cinema, <laughs> this girl, I <laughs> we, we got the hot dog and even before the movie finished, she was really enjoying herself and when it was time for us to leave, we were looking for her glasses. But she wears glasses. We were like, where did these glasses go? So I asked her to check the trash. The trash being what was left of what we had, you know, while we were watching the movie and she had put her glasses inside the trash like she was so taken <laughs> taken over by this hot dog that she didn't know that she had trashed her glasses it was so funny like i teased her for this i would never forget it <laughs> like she was like these hot dogs are so nice guys i've never had <laughs> and i don't think i will have you know there is always a first experience it was magical with the hot dog for me <laughs> i finished the hot dog way before the movie even got to the middle guys <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So moving on to the next question. That was easy. What's something you got away with as a kid? Well, what's something I got away with as a kid? I'm a middle child. I have an elder sister. I have a younger sister. So mm -hmm, I got away with not doing a lot of chores when I was much younger. Guys. She's saying it's okay <laughs> that she had me do all her chores for no, her. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> But you know the middle child thing, you know? Mm, it was like easy for me. I had an elder sister to do most of the difficult chores. I had a younger sister to do some of them. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next question. Hmm, this is, is, is interesting. It's interesting, right? <laughs> It's interesting for me. It's more interesting for me. <laughs> What's your most annoying habit? What do you think is your most annoying habit? Okay, my most annoying habit would be the fact that I am 
quite impatient at short term price sometimes yes i'm very impatient <laughs> I know I'm trying to work on it, I'm working on it, I'm not perfect, I'm working on it right now. Yeah, it's good that you know your, <laughs> your most annoying habits. I'm actually very happy that you know you're quite impatient. But like you said, she's working on it. I've seen a lot of progress in the last few weeks. Mm. So yeah, she's right. Okay. okay, your next question is, what was your biggest insecurity as a teenager? okay my biggest insecurity as a teenager growing up was that was the fact that i wasn't really okay with my height growing up and my size i was i've always been chubby i've not really been like a skinny skinny girl so i was like i really wanted to be taller i really want to wanted to be tina as well but right now i look at my pictures and i'm like did you really think you were thick look at me now <laughs> yes i've accepted the way i am funny how i really love my size and my height right now it's one of the most interesting things about me so yeah it's what makes you you yeah that's what makes me you. so i'm not going to let this question slide <laughs> without talking about her <laughs> prayer request <laughs> as a teenager Happy prayer request was called please increase my height and reduce my size. <laughs> my sister is never letting me come back to this channel, guys. <laughs> okay, moving forward, what's your biggest worry these days and why? Seeing you have a video on growing pain, I would like to know what your worries are these days and why. Okay, my biggest worry these days is not really like it's if i would say i have like a very big worry would be the fact that i am a big dreamer i have a lot in my head i think big and i dream big so i really want to get to that place where what is in my head matches the physical you understand that's like my biggest worry sometimes when i talk and people listen to me they're like wow like everything seems like it's extraordinary to them and they can't believe it i really want to get to that place where everything i said i was gonna do everything i said i was gonna be materializes in front of me and i'm happy with myself and i'm proud of myself and you know i have things to tell my kids and yeah that's like my biggest worry in life right now basically you know they say if your dreams don't scare you then your you dreams are not big Period. So, yes, your dreams carrying you is meaning that your dreams are big enough and of course you're going to actualize them because where you are yesterday is not where you are now guys you've made a <laughs> lot of progress uh, uh, oh my god she has indeed made a lot of progress so yes i'm commending her and i'm mm. telling her that she's going to actualize her thoughts and dreams so, so worry less thank you very much for that okay what's your favorite movie of all time what's my favorite movie of all time okay i would say growing up my favorite movie was um lord of the rings i really loved that movie the elf guy she had a crush on the <laughs> elf guy no she had a crush on the elf guy i really liked that movie frodo um smiggle the storyline everything was interesting to me you know costume and all but um older me would say my favorite movie right now would be a journal for jordan i really like the movie i like the fact that i i gravitate towards um real life stories i'm going to understand that it makes more meaning to me when oh. i understand that yeah i was about to say that the movie is actually real like it's very yes. real and now i'm getting to understand that it's a real life story. yeah it was acted based on somebody's journal yeah wow. yeah based on true it's a nice movie. okay guys my next question is what motivated you to do youtube we are on the space now so what was your motivation because ha, it's not easy i'm sitting here right now and i'm telling you that it's not easy what was your motivation you okay for me uh, i would say that i like to share things 
I, I've always been like a talker. I've always seen myself or dream about me talking to a large audience, communicating with a lot of people. And so when I discovered YouTube, I learned from YouTube as well. There are lots of creators on YouTube that I appreciate their content. I really wanted to be that person for a lot of women out there, not just women, a lot of people out there. I really wanted to have people that connected with me at a certain level and youtube was that platform for me i just like youtube i prefer it to every other social media platform i feel like it is inspiring it's so real and you get to see people from different walks of life you get to see people that have the same mindset as you so that was what motivated me to start my own channel Hey, I'm going to say thank you so much for starting this channel. I'm sure a lot of your followers or subscribers want to also thank you for being on this space because you've helped us and you've been a life coach and oh we've learned a lot of things from your channel. Personally, I have. I'm not saying it just because you're my sister. I'm saying it because, yes, I've implemented some of the tips on your channel. And I'm, I'm about to be an eat girl. If if I'm not an eat girl, you are an eat girl. I'm an eat girl, like. guys. Some <laughs> aesthetics and that's on. Period. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So my next question is, what's the best book you have read? Um, are we talking fiction or non-fiction? I would say you should give us one on fiction and then one on non-fiction. Okay, for fiction. I would say um, Teens Fall Apart. Yes, I really liked that book, Open Call, The Center Can No Longer Hold. Even Wonka was here right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was really interesting. Chino Achebe really outdid himself with that book. If you had like a, it made you imagine a lot of things. I really enjoyed that book. Then for non-fiction, I would say Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, because that book teaches you a lot of things about finances, and you know you need to get your finances to be where you want it to be. I really like that book, so I would say everybody should read that. Book. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Yeah, everybody that has read Rich Dad Poor Dad has been forced to read it again. Yes. You can't read that book once. Yes. It's actually a lovely book. Yes. So, yes. guys, I know you guys don't want to hear about me, but I'm forced to talk about myself. <laughs> Romanticize your life. That's what she said on her channel. Um, my favorite book on fiction should be Chico Ingwe's. Um, What's the name of that book? I do not come to you. I do chance. not come okay. to you by chance. I think it was my book. You stole my book. Yeah. <laughs> it was her book, actually. And it felt like I was watching a movie. Okay. It was really It was really So, yes. You can look the book up if you've not read it or read it. And Chinua Chebe, the sense I can no longer Okay. Do you think we'll be friends if we were not still? That's your next question. Um, what would determine if we will be friends, if we weren't siblings, is if we we'll get to meet, if we do get to meet, then definitely I believe that we will be friends because you know, we relate with me on a certain level, and it's not just because we're my sister, so yeah. I'm glad. I, I thought she was about to say, No, well, that said her. <laughs> say it. Too. Your next question is. If job security and pay didn't matter, what would you be doing right now? What would you be doing? I'm already doing it, baby girl. I will be here sharing stuff to you guys, talking to you guys. So you mean that you're doing you know, your dream job? Yes, I am. I am actually. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You're yeah. living the life of your dream That's not weird. <laughs> You're doing what you do. Yes, I'm doing what I would If pay didn't matter. Yeah, if pay didn't matter. I will be doing this. I really enjoy being on this platform. Yes, I do. One meal would you eat for one week straight? For one week straight? Yes. Pasta, really nice <laughs> cooked pasta. Yes, I love pasta so much. I could eat pasta every day as long as it's cooked properly with the right protein and all. I really like pasta. She really does like pasta. <laughs> Show me you don't like pasta. I like pasta. Okay, but not as much okay. as you do. 
<laughs> okay, have you ever pretended to be sick to get something? Yes. Who has it? Yes, I have. <laughs> Who has it? I was really spoiled growing up. Hmm. She was. I, I was the house girl. No, you were not. <laughs> I was spoiled, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the better liar? You or me? I'm a lawyer. Can we just keep this question? Are you saying the saying that all lawyers are liars is true? I'm not saying it's true, but I'm saying which other professional kind of that say. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, guys, my next question. Have you ever broken someone's hands? Who hasn't? Yeah, but <laughs> honestly speaking, if you want to be for real, you can't let people have their way all the time. So, yeah, I'm big on those. Um, I mean, relationship wise. I'm big on those as well, also. So, yeah. She's a heartbreaker, guys. You are just a heartbreaker. <laughs> Okay. You know that song? I don't know. Girl, you're coming down below if you know the song. But you, you know just a heartbreaker. That's why you do the things you do. Fine. Da, 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 da. It's been a long time. Shazam that. Kimmy, <laughs> 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 I was singing was going out to you know that one? Yes, yes. Okay, she's mm -hmm. on the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see that this is not so hot. Oh, you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what are you most grateful for? Your big of gratitude in your channel, celebrate your small wins. So, what are you most grateful for? First of all, I would say I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for the people I have in my life right now. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for the roads. I'm grateful for mindset sheets. I'm just grateful for where I am right now in life and what I feel like or what I know that the future holds for me. So, uh, you know, I'm really very grateful. I'm a thankful child. Yeah, she's grateful for everything. From what you've said, you're grateful for everything. Okay, so since this is a get to know her video, it's not going to be all about me and what I want to. So can you kindly tell your YouTube family a little about yourself? Who is the Ejilechi? We know you're a lawyer. Aside that, who are you? What kind of person are you? What do you do? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Most of my subscribers know me already, but I have some new subscribers. So if you don't know already, just like she said, I'm a lawyer, um, I major mostly in corporate law, I'm also a human resource manager as well, mm -hmm. yeah, I do that as well, and then I'm um, a content creator, a YouTuber based currently in Kotakot, Nigeria, and um, um, I am an introvert, I would say I'm an introvert, I do very well on my own, I like to go out sometimes and then come back in. I don't know if every grown adult is an introvert yet. I am. I don't do well with large um, noises and crowd and all of that. Yes. I'm really a very special person. I'm the kind of person that if you have me in your life, you know, you should be very grateful. Do you understand? I am real real person i'm the real deal i'm the next big thing if you don't know that already i'm the it girl and that's a period Baby. i'm also a very soft girl i don't like stress i don't like things that stress me people that stress me but that doesn't actually mean that you know i fold my hands and i look i make things happen actually for myself and for the people i love and people that i have around me so yeah. If you have other things you want to know about me, please put down specifics on the comment section and I will be available to, you know, answer your questions. She was saying all oh, others are in trouble, but she doesn't know if you have you met me. <laughs> have you met any of you? <laughs> they don't live in their houses. Okay, down to the final question. I really enjoyed it. Please. 
drop your comment if you want to see me on a part two of getting to know the Egileche. So the final question or the final, the last one I'm going to say, please, what would you, what advice would you give to your younger self or Okay, the advice I'll give to my younger self is be very self-aware, um, know who you are, know who you are, don't spend your time or your days, you know, being insecure about your body. It's going to be your body for life. The faster you get to accept it and work on what you can actually work on, the better for you. And I'll tell you to also explore your options, go out there, meet people first. You know, people are connections. You actually need people you know in life so you need to connect with the right set of people have the right mindset and find something that you're passionate about when it ties that skill look for something else that you're passionate about just you know money actually makes the world go round and having real people good people in your life is what you that what you need to succeed in life actually so that's what i would tell you so if you don't you don't have that time to you know start looking at yourself and being insecure about your body about this about that take all of that energy and focus on making yourself better making your life better wow that's nice i will hand over to her now okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed it it was a little bit more personal because i don't really draw personal stuff on my channel so i thought to do this so i would connect with my audience better just like i said if you have other things that you want to ask me make sure they're not too personal <laughs> Mm -hmm. so you can't weapon you can't weaponize my answers against me so let them let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a video i have a personal goal to build my community and get at least a thousand subscribers before the end of this month hopefully you love the vibe and subscribe and i will definitely see you guys in my next video bye guys bye for now <laughs>